Hello everybody, it's Sebastian Nally out here with the awesome people at Mountaineer Brand. This is episode three. So today we're gonna to be doing a fishtail braid. So we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start off by putting in some beard balm. This is one of my favorites, lime and sage. We'll just throw some in real quick. Anybody can put a lot in, but <laughs> I have a pretty big beard, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a decent amount. Mostly focus on the skin, not as much the hair. Of course, it makes it look and smell good, but it's really for the health of your skin. The brush helps a ton. It's actually my first time using this one. All right, we're gonna jump right in. So for this, you're gonna to wanna to go straight down the middle, split it right down the middle. Now don't mind me if I look away, I have a camera over here to help me. Alrighty, right down the middle as best as you can. Now you wanna get your hands fairly tight up to your jawline. Now this is a fairly, it's not a hard braid, but getting your hands to move how you want them, especially when you're not used to it, it's kind of rough. So I take it once it's split, I grab them both together with one hand, with one finger in the middle. All right, now whichever hand you're, or whichever side your fingers are on, you wanna start opposite of that. So you take just a handful of hairs, now, it will look messy as you're doing it because as I'm pulling these hairs out, other ones are going to want to join it. And it's going to make it look sloppy at first, but in the long run, you'll be happy with it. All right, we're going to pull that over to where we can reach it with our fingers. And now, we're just letting that go right in the middle. It's going to seem off to the side, but once it's over in your fingers, you don't really need to care about it. Now, you just switch hands. You grab that what you just brought over and that handful. Each time you want to kind of straighten it a little bit with your hand. All right, now we're just switching. Do the exact same thing the other hand. So I'm holding this side with my right hand's fingers, grabbing a small handful of hair and bringing it over, pinching it with the fingers. Now this braid takes a little bit of time especially to get used to but as you switch back and forth you're just grabbing another small handful and bringing it over I'm not flicking you off just held holding it with my finger <laughs> switch hands again straighten it out grab a small handful One of the hard things about doing this braid, other than the muscle memory, and of course I even got to look in the mirror to do this anyways, is trying to grab the same amount of hair each time. See, I accidentally just pulled a larger piece, but I'm just gonna put it over anyways. It'll still be fine. And as many strands as you're gonna do, you won't even notice. Other people can probably do this a lot faster than I can. One thing to, to actually worry about when you're doing this is to not get it too close to your neck. Because as you go to the side, it'll just, your chin will go sink in and it'll go towards your chest. You don't want that. But you also don't want to go too far out on your chin because then it'll just stick out. Also helps to keep this pretty tight it's I mean of course like usual it's all a preference sometimes I'll do this really loose and I'll do it with very large very large strands yeah this is why a mirror is important because I keep switching hands and I almost forgot where it was it helps to know which one was last Really, especially with this braid, it's a work of art. But what I mean is that as you're going through, you might not think it looks very good, but at the end, you'll be quite excited. 
Now, as you get closer to the bottom, which of course I still got a hand and a half, um, it'll seem like you're grabbing strands that already exist. What I mean is it, it'll feel like it's already in a small chunk for you. And that's just because up here, the chunks that you are grabbing are kind of staying together. It'll seem weird, but it works out. How do y'all like these shirts, by the way? I actually really like the color. I know this is taking forever, but it should turn out very nice. Now as we get closer to the bottom, it helps, I believe, to go even tighter, to keep tightening it as you go. So as I get to the bottom, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually pulling it apart to tighten it up. And I'm gonna just add a trusty hair tie right now. The unbraided hair at the bottom is all to preference. I like to have a little bit. So it, uh, I like to kind of grab it and pull it apart just makes it look a little bit wider. But here you go. That's a fishtail. All right, y'all, so that was episode three, the fishtail braid. Comment down below. Let me know if y'all followed along and did it yourself. Let me know any other braids you'd like me to try out, if you have any challenges for me. And or like and subscribe. Like this video and the previous videos I did about braiding. Follow Mountaineer Brand on Facebook and Instagram. Give me a follow, too. That's, that's everything. Y'all have a good one. Be great.